Hello, I'm Amy Blaylock. Welcome to City Hall This Week. We told you a couple of weeks ago about one technology that will possibly be used by the city to help comply with the Falls Lake rules. The Falls Lake rules are a set of state mandates that became effective in 2011 to restore water quality to Falls Lake by redu reducing uh, nitrogen and phosphorus entering the lake. Um, the goal is to reduce nutrient discharges from various sources that, that enter the lake um, and make it more suitable for recreational uses and as a drinking water source. Now, the consideration and study of the potential effectiveness of a second technology has been approved at a cost of $57,000. The algal turf scrubber is a large concrete surface that is used to grow algae. Uh, the stream water is pumped over, continuously pumped over the surface uh, to grow algae that, that naturally occurs and, and thereby treat uh, the surface water. The turf scrubber is a passive way of removing nutrients from the water by using the algae that grows on the surface. Thereby treating the water without any um, chemical additives or special, special treatment processes. And there are additional benefits to the scrubber as well. The algal turf scrubber has a patented method for harvesting um, the, the algae um, and which is typically removed or harvested every 7 to 14 days. And the, the algal biomass, um, which is the dense mat of algae on, that, on the surface of, of the, the concrete area, it can be converted in, and sold to, for um, compost material, livestock feed, uh, garden container soil, um, and, and biofuels as well. While the scrubber is not being used yet in North Carolina, it is already proving to be beneficial in other states. The city and Orange County are working together to extend water and sewer service to the Eno Economic Development District. The district is located in Orange County, adjacent to I-85 and the Durham-Orange County line that is within the city's water and sewer service area. No sewer infrastructure currently exists in this 1,000 acre area and only limited water distribution infrastructure is available. Orange County and the City of Durham have agreed to extend those services to the district. A $121,000 contract has been approved for the Master Planning, Design, Permitting and Construction Administration of infrastructure upgrades to the area. Orange County will reimburse the city for all costs associated with the contract. If you want to have some input on Durham's 2013-2014 budget, the City Council wants to hear from you. All residents are invited to attend any of the five Coffee with Council community meetings that will be held throughout February and March. The sessions will give residents a chance to provide feedback to Council members on budget priorities for the coming year. The meetings are scheduled for Saturday, February 9th from 10 a.m. until noon at the Campus Hills Recreation Center. Saturday, February 16th from 9.30 until 11.30 a.m. at the Holton Career and Resource Center's Child Care Center. Saturday, March 9th from 10 a.m. until noon at the Lion Park Community Family Life and Recreation Center. Monday, March 11th from 6 until 8.30 p.m. at the Durham Public Schools Resource Center. And Thursday, March 14th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. in the City Hall Committee Room. There will also be two public hearings held on the budget. The first will be on Monday, March 4th, and the second will be on Monday, June 3rd. More progress is being made on the Mountains to Sea Trail in Durham. Find out what it is and how it helps connect Durham to this ambitious project when City Hall This Week continues. You realize that 49 million Americans struggle with hunger? That's one out of every six Americans. These people are around us every day. They're our friends, they're our coworkers, their kids go to school with our kids. Sometimes we're not even aware that they're struggling. This problem is closer than you think. But so is the solution. Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. Here's your check. Oh! 
You, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. No? Okay. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back. Construction is ready to get underway on Durham's new Parks and Recreation Operations Facility. The existing facility is located in Duke Park and is too small and outdated to accommodate the department's current operational needs. The new $1.6 million facility will be built at 301 Archdale Drive and will give the department a more central location to store more equipment and materials. Construction is expected to begin in February. Plans to further the mountains to the Sea Trail in Durham are moving forward. The city and the state have reached an agreement that will enable a leg of the trail to be developed along the Eno River in the area adjacent to Penny's Bend. The state will lease a piece of land from the city at no cost that is adjacent to the land that will be used for the trail. The city's land will be used for conservation management. When completed, the Mountains to the Sea Trail will stretch almost 1,000 miles across North Carolina from the Great Smoky Mountains to the Outer Banks. That does it for City Hall this week. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And of course, you can find us on demand on DTV8's webpage and on YouTube. I'm Amy Blaylock. Thank you for joining us.